In our last class of chapter number 12, we are doing some questions. Please listen it carefully. So here is question number 3 from exercise 12.2. Radha made a picture of an aeroplane with colored paper as shown in figure. Find the total area of the paper used. Here you can see that a picture is given to us in which uh, uh, five figures are given. So we are starting with figure number one. Figure number one is uh, of the shape uh, of the shape of triangle. So you can see that it is an isosceles triangle where two equal sides are of uh, five centimeter and another side is of one centimeter. So by using Heron's formula, we can just find the value of area of first figure. As you can see that uh, Heron's formula says S is equals to, uh, sorry, Heron's formula says that root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Here A, B and C are given to us. That is A is equals to 5 centimeter, B is equals to 5 centimeter, C is equals to 1 centimeter and we can find S from here. So, formula for finding S is A plus B plus C upon 2. So, after finding, after putting the value of A, B and C in the formula A plus B plus C upon 2, we will get S as 5.5. Now, after finding uh, the value of S, we will put value of S, A, B and C in the Heron's formula. So, after putting the values, we will get root 5.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 4.5. Now, further you can solve it as I have solved here and then we will get the answer as 0 0.5 upon 10 into 5 into 3 into 1 upon 10 root 1.1 centimeter square. So, our final answer will be area of first figure is equals to 0 0.75 root 1.1 centimeter square. Now come to next figure that is figure number 2 which is in the form of rectangle. Here you can see that length of rectangle is given to us that is 1 cent 6.1 oh, sorry 1 centimeter and breadth is given to us that is 6.5 centimeter. So you can see that area of second figure we can find by the formula L into B. So area of second figure uh, answer is 6.5 into 1 that is 6.5 centimeter square. Now come to next figure that is figure number 4. Now figure number 4 is in the shape of triangle and that is right angled triangle where base is 1.5 cm, height is 6 cm. So, we can find uh, the area of fourth figure by the formula half into base into height. After putting the values of base and height in this formula, we will get the final answer that is 4.5 cm square. Then come to next figure that is figure number 5. Figure number 5 is also of the form of triangle that is right angle triangle. So again formula of area of fifth figure will be half into base into height. Again we can put the uh, values of base and height in this uh, formula and we will get half into 1.5 into 6 that is our final answer is area of fifth figure is equals to 4.5 centimeter square. Then come to figure number 3. Now this is one of the important figure and by uh, by using the method of this figure you we can solve question number 9 of exercise 12.2. Please listen it carefully. So area of third figure is half into base 1 plus base 2 into height. As this figure is of the form of 
trapezium now first we will what we will uh, do we'll just draw a line in between the figure such that that line will divide this figure into two parts that is one in parallelogram and one in triangle so now you can see that in triangle bec we'll get be is equals to ec is equals to bc which is 1 cm now we can find the area of triangle bec by the formula root 3 by 2 into side whole square because bec now has been formed into equilateral triangle as ec is also of 1 cm you can see in the figure figure now after solving the uh, after solving uh, by this formula we'll get the final answer of area of triangle bec that is root 3 by 2 cm square then come to then another uh, we can find area of triangle of B bec by another formula also that is half into base into height here you can see that base is given to us but height is not given to us so we can just put the value of base and height we can write it as it is so we will get half into 1 into height name it as equation number 3 now from equation number 2 and 3 we will get root 3 by 2 is equals to half into height after uh, solving it we will get height is equals to root 3 cm as base 1 is given to us as 2 cm and base 2 is given to us as 1 cm now we can put all these values in the formula of equation number 1 that is half into 2 plus 1 into root 3 so area of third figure will be 3 root 3 upon 2 cm square now listen here one thing that i have used equilateral triangle formula over here because my triangle has been formed in equilateral form now if suppose triangle is not of equilateral so what we can uh, what we can do is we can solve area of that triangle by heron's formula okay so uh, in this case we have found uh, the area of triangle a b um, sorry b e c by two formulas here i have used equilateral triangle formula first and then half into base into height formula you can use heron's formula and half into base into height it depends upon the situation you can use this also if equilateral triangle is given otherwise you can use heron's formula also now by uh, by on the basis of this figure what you can do is you can solve question number 9 of exercise 12.2 now come to next part that is doubts so uh, come to exercise 12.2 question number 7 here you can see that given is diagonal of a square that is 32 cm that is ac is equals to bd is equals to 32 cm as we know that diagonals of a square are equal now one more thing is given that is ce is equals to 6 cm cf is equals to 6 cm and ef is equals to 8 cm now by using these three values that is c uh, value of ce cf and ef we can find area of triangle cef by heron's formula now come to the upper part that is area of ab cd part here you can see that as diagonal uh, is ac and bd and both of them are uh, given to us so we can write that ao is equals to oc is equals to 16 cm because diagonals of a square bisect each other now area of triangle abd 
can uh, we can write it as half into base into height here base is acting as bd and height is acting as ao now in place of bd we can write 32 in place of ao we can write 16 now after solving it further we will get area of triangle abd that is 256 centimeter square then come to next triangle that is area of triangle bcd in area of triangle bcd again we will use the formula half into base into height now in place of base in this case we can write bd and in place of height we will write oc now solving it further we will get area of triangle bcd is equals to 256 centimeter square now come to next question that is a triangle and a parallelogram have the same base and the same area if the sides of the triangle are 260 uh, sorry 26 centimeter 28 centimeter and 30 centimeter and the parallelogram sta stands on the base 28 centimeter find the height of the parallelogram now what you can see over here is the figure I have made. Now this figure is uh, where ABCD is acting as parallelogram and DEC is acting as triangle. Now you can see that this DEC triangle I have made on DC base. Now it can be made in upward direction also. It's your choice. Upward direction means this E point can come outside uh, this parallelogram and then it can be made. Now you, uh, you can see that base of triangle and parallelogram is same that is 28 centimeter and area of parallelogram is equals to area of triangle DEC. Now in place of area of parallelogram I have written base into height and in place of triangle DEC I have written Heron's formula that is root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Now further I have just kept the values that is value of base of parallelogram that is 28 and height I have written as it is height is equals to root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C name this equation as number 1 now as a is equals to 26 centimeter b is equals to 28 centimeter and c is equals to 30 centimeter uh, in this triangle dec we can find the value of s by using the formula a plus b plus c upon 2 so after solving uh, by this formula we will get s as 42 centimeter now from equation number one we can just uh, keep the values of s a b and c in this formula so we will get 28 into height is equals to root 42 into 42 minus 26 into 42 minus 28 into 42 minus 30 further solving it we will get 28 into height is equals to root 42 into 16 into 14 into 12 further we can just split 42 into 7 into 6 16 into 2 into 2 8 14 into 2 into 7 and 12 into 2 into 6 after that we can make the pairs after making the pair we'll get the answer as 28 into height is equals to 7 into 6 into 2 into 4 so after solving it further we will get height as 12 centimeter now your assignment for today is question do question number 9 of exercise 12.2 it is one of the important question please solve it and then if, if uh, there is any doubt then you can solve uh, then you can take your doubts also i'm posting a holiday homework for uh, your holidays please solve that also and then all, uh, after solving that you can just take your doubts thank you